Hello everybody, my name is Caleb Carone, and welcome back to the channel. In this video, um, I'm going to be showing you how I process my astro photos. Um, I put a vote on Twitter to see what people want to see processed, and uh, they picked the Pelican Nebula. And I can't blame them, because this, da this data is really awesome. I was really happy with it when I saw the stack. And um, I extracted the channels and I made it into an SHO or HOO image in APP and I bring it to here. So there's no editing here. Um, this is just combined. So we got some stacking artifacts here, which will be, which will, uh, be taken away right now. So when you take the, your photo into Photoshop, you're gonna you're gonna want to go to Image, and then I'm just gonna switch to 32 for a second because that this window doesn't pop up when I click 16. So you want to go you want to make it a 16 bit, and this will pop up. You want to make it Exposure and Gamma, and we'll click OK. So yeah, there's some artifacts here. We're gonna wanna we're gonna wanna fix that. So let's do that right now. Fix this just like that we're gonna click okay and there we go now it's more clean uh the full image i will crop more later but we have the north america nebula here we have the deadpool nebula and then we got the beautiful uh, pelican so we're gonna make a new layer we're gonna name it curve c for curves and it's already auto stretched but i'm gonna stretch it more so the Instagram is going to switch it a little more, make it more brighter. Like so click OK. And we're gonna, now we're going to go to levels. Let's bring that down a bit. So you go to image adjustments and then it's all here, levels and curves and whatnot. So we got to cut, we got to like, Obviously, it's a lot of green and it's not color corrected. So, what I'm gonna do is go to levels. I'm gonna click this, the uh, this little tool right here. And I'm just gonna click a random part of the sky, maybe like right here, away from like the nebulae, like right there, and it should make it more like color balanced. And then I'm just gonna bring this down, like that, boom. So that, now it's more color balanced. We'll do more color balancing later. But um, this looks this looks really good, and it the data is really good, so it's very minimal like editing to be honest. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this in, I'm gonna take this into the camera raw filter. I'm just gonna make a new filter. Uh, I'm just gonna name it other stuff. Filter camera raw filter. So we got the image almost looks finished. So um, I like to play with the clarity. To make it more like poppy, like so, maybe like a 30. It's a lot of noise, but that's okay. We'll get rid of that. Looks more uh, clear. Uh, and I see some green going happening. So I usually go to lens corrections and just wipe out the green like that. Maybe the perps, maybe the purple. It looks really good. Oh, uh, I do all this later, like do all that later. But um, you can see there's some color noise when I bump up that. There's some color noise. Usually just remove it like that. But we, I, I usually save that for last. So the, we did the clarity. Um, let's we'll click. Okay. Uh. So the stars are really bright. We don't like bright stars. At least I don't like bright stars. It really takes away from the nebulae. So. I use this technique from Astro Backyard, Trevor. So I'm just going to make a new layer real quick. I'm going to name it Stars. So what I'm going to do is go to Select, Color Range. I'm going to go, instead of sample, Sampled Colors, I'm going to do Highlights. That's going to highlight the stars and some nebulosity, which is completely fine. So we don't want halos, so we're gonna go to select again, modify, we're gonna go to expand, and we expand that by two. And then we're gonna want to feather the edges for sure. So we're gonna go back to select, modify, and feather. 
and then I'm gonna feather that uh, there's some areas here I don't want like gone so I'm gonna go to the lasso tool hold alt and I'm just gonna get that area of space of the nebula out so because I don't want that area touched so now I'm gonna go to filter other minimum this will pop up a before and after and it looks really that's right we might have to do another star reduction but we're gonna click ok deselect now it looks much like less bright and we'll probably do another one right now actually so i'll go to history i'll show you before and after there you go looks much better I, I love i love this technique it's awesome um, this is also another technique you can do with it, which is star net, which is really helpful as well. So we're going to do the same thing. We're going to go to color range. Same thing. Select. Modify. Expand. Expand by two. And go back to select again. Feather those edges. I'm going to go to filter. Other. Minimum. And it's gonna do it again. There we go. Select, deselect. Now the stars are less bright. This looks good. A um, little wonky looking, but uh, looks. I like this. This looks. This looks good. Got good, ni nice, good uh, dust there. Uh, I don't think we want to stretch the image because if we stretch the image. Uh, it's just gonna create more noise and we don't want that so this looks good the way it looks now I want to I want to play with the colors because I like to play with colors uh, make it more more the luminance bring the luminance up so I'm just gonna do colors. filter camera all filter and I'm just gonna go into the HSL adjustments which is also on APP so Bring luminance and we bring up those reds make a more bright a brighter image looks really nice I actually struggle to get the blues to pop out in HOO I don't know why I just have trouble doing it like there's just no blue I don't think I don't know I just have trouble doing that so I just leave it as this this looks good like you can tell it's an SHO image but it looks really good so, or H O O, no, S H O. So that we bumped up the luminance. Now it's like a much brighter color, and I, I really like that. Um, I don't like too much red. Like that's just, you know, like that's just too much red. So I'm just gonna keep it as right, like right here. Fifteen. A, fi a plus fifteen looks pretty good. Also, if you want, you can change the hues. Uh, editing is subjective in astrophotography, so you do whatever the heck you want. If you want to make a purple, go ahead. Pink purple, you want to make it this gold color, go ahead. For SHO, whatever. Because in SHO, it's more like gold. This looks really cool, actually. Kind of like this, but I'm not going to go with that right now. <laughs> that looks kind of cool, but this looks cool. All right. So I think... I'm thinking there's more green in this image. I'm just gonna do it anyway. Kind of with the greens, those purples as, as well. We don't want that purple hue. Um, so we're gonna play with the the shadows. We're gonna turn down those shadows just a bit. This is very minimal editing. Like a lot of people do it differently, and I'm probably gonna do. I'm probably gonna get Pix Insight. Probably a trial, get used to it, and then push it in the future because it's pretty expensive. I'm just gonna turn down those shadows, more contrast in the photo. Bring up the contrast to 15, or yeah, 15. Perfect, just like that. Um, we haven't done any like noise reduction yet, so that's pretty impressive actually. Um, pretty clean image here. This looks really good. Just, like I said, very minimal editing. Like this is not going to be too long a video of a video. Um, 
Because his data is actually good and I, like honestly the, the worse the data that is the harder it is to process and this wasn't too hard to process um, and I'm really happy with this so now we could do some noise reduction and some color noise reduction and we'll do some cropping as well so I'm just gonna flatten this because my computer might explode so we're just gonna flatten that and we're gonna go noise we're gonna go back to filter camera on. I don't have the uh, AI denoise AI I don't have that so I'm just gonna go to he uh, the detail tab and just bump that up a bit you look at 25 and there is some color noise happening so we're just gonna bump that up a bit to like a 25 as well we don't make a blotchy image this looks good so far um, sharpening I'll get to that in a minute that's a cool little technique I learned from Trevor as well Astro backyard this looks clean as heck this looks really good so um we're, I'm gonna show you this sharpening technique that Trevor showed us in his YouTube so I'm gonna go to filter I'm gonna go to sharpen and uh, smart sharpen because when you when you add it like when you take away the noise you kind of lose some detail so I kind of want to empathize that detail um, so I'm gonna go to smart sharpen and this will pop up and it, you can tell there's like a before and after and you can obviously like bump up the amount and radius like that looks ridiculous that's just gonna create too much noise reduction like it's gonna create too much that's too much noise yeah so what I'll do is I'll lower it down it's like before and after well I can go with that so now the image kind of looks weird which is fine but when you create that sharpen you're gonna drag the soft layer on top of the sharpen and it's gonna switch it up so now that now the now the soft layer is on top of the sharpen layer. As you can see, I don't know if you can tell the difference. It's very subtle. So now we're going to do selective sharpening. This is really awesome. I'm going to click on the eraser tool. And I'm just going to go and just erase the, the noise around there. And it really empathizes the, the detail. And I'll do it around the dust. So bring out the dust more. Mr. Deadpool, we need you to come out. Maybe a little over there. Let's empathize the structure of the nebula. This looks great. There we go. Perfect. And I'm just gonna flatten that. I'm gonna merge it, and I'll go. I'll show you the difference here. History. Obviously, I did a lot of that. So, we got that. Yeah, so it really empathizes the structure there so that's we're almost done here actually let's bring this down one more this looks really good so I don't I've posted this photo so many times with this orientation so we're gonna switch up the orientation here uh, I've also posted it a lot with this oops with this or orientation like right here this looks good I mean this orientation is always gonna be the best honestly it, it, it fits it well this image looks really good this is I'm gonna share this I, I, I might keep this in there actually to make it more this looks really good really good excuse me so this is how I process my images in Photoshop it's very minimal very very easy very easy to follow um, with pics and sight it's very complex um, but it's such a powerful like tool, uh, Pix Insight, and I really want to get into it. But uh, if you're if you're just getting started in astrophotography and you you just, you have Photoshop, uh, maybe the video will help because uh, this this it's the photo looks great, very minimal like editing. The data is great, so it's very minimal. So I hope this helped you guys. Uh, maybe some of you beginners like me. So um. I'm actually going to wrap this image, or I'm going to wrap this video up. So uh, I appreciate you guys watching and liking and subscribe. We're almost at 300 subscribers. That's insane. Thank you guys so much.
So um, I hope you guys enjoyed. And uh, until next time, clear skies.